Today we are in the MTD Tech Corner and we're going to talk all about tapping and I'm here with Adam from Dorma Pramit. Now Adam, just before we get onto the tools, can you give us a little introduction into yourself? My name's Adam Irvin, I'm the application specialist from Dorma Pramit. And what have you brought with you today? Today I brought one of our new Sparrow Flute and Sparrow Point taps are part of our new multi-application range. So what's the difference between these taps and other taps that you actually sell? So we sell a full range of taps. A lot of we do a full range of taps and what are material specific, which are which have got a green or a green or a coloured band around them. And then we do this is going to sit as a multi-purpose tap to cut in all different materials, which is aimed at your jobbing shop materials, sort of aimed at your, your steels, stainless, cast iron, and aluminium materials, which are generally cut in subcon style environments. And what advantage does that give to a customer? Why why would a customer choose this in a job shop over going for a banded tap? This gives you a very, a very high performance, sort of near those banded taps, but with the benefit of not having to change taps depending on material. And obviously that's going to save people time, time money. money. Yeah, and only obviously ease of choice as well. It's easy to choose. So Adam, you brought a spiral point and a spiral flute tap with you today. Mm -hmm. Why would I choose one or the other? So if you're doing through holes, you'd do a spiral point. If you're doing blind holes, you'd do a spiral flute. The difference is a spiral point will push the material through the hole and it'll come out the bottom of the hole, whereas a spiral flute will bring the material out of the hole and it'll come out similar to a drill. So obviously if you're doing, like you said, a blind hole, you're not going to hit the tap into the swarf at the bottom yeah. of the hole. Now, why would I use a tap over a thread mill? Because there's always that, there's always that argument of what people should use. Yeah, I mean... Thread mills tend to be used, I mean, thread mills are very good and they tend to be used on sort of nasty materials, your ink canals, your nickel based super alloys, titaniums, things like that. Um, I'd always use a tap on your steel, stainless, cast iron, aluminiums as a first choice because you tap the hole, you gauge it 99 times out of 100, it's going to be correct. And if it's not correct, it's more down to an external factor rather than the tap. And obviously, like you said, it's going to be right every time, but there's actually something even more. There's, there's, there's even more an advantage using these types of taps because what tolerance are these set for? 6HX, which is perfect for the automotive industry and the aerospace industry where threads are threads need to produce that type of tolerance. So Adam, if anyone at home has seen anything or wants to know more information from you guys, mm -hmm. how do they get in contact with you and Dorma Pramit? The easiest way is to go on the website and find the, look on the contact us section and from there you'll be able to find your local representative.